What's good gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. We have another money glitch here in the facility for you guys to take advantage of, man. This is another one that you guys can do for the whole weekend. I'm sure we'll have it and this brings out a lot more glitches and I'll get into all of that here in a second, but let me just shout out the founders, get that out of the way. Uh, Lost Glitches, who's part of Fart Crew, found this along with his two friends, Hugh Shots and Electric One, all right? So shout out to those guys. Links will be down in the description. Now, this facility glitch can lead to a lot of stuff, all right? It's a merge glitch. You merge the facilities together. So there's a few duplication glitches with this. There's uh, You can give Avenger upgrades to friends, store aircrafts in the special vehicle warehouse, transfer the special vehicles. You can do a lot of stuff with this, okay? But what you're gonna need is, all right, so just kind of, you know, join into an invite only session. You need one friend to do this with, and this is a no custom plates glitch. It's a merge glitch. You do not need custom plates to do this. But you and your friend do need the same facility. So link up in the description or, you know, down in the comments if you don't have a friend and you need help. All right, so this is the perspective of the helper. All right, so as you can see right here, I'm the helper. Then I'm gonna go to the duper later in the video, but the helper is doing the bulk of the work. So as you can see right here, I'm in my facility and I have a big vehicle, could be an insurgent. I recommend a night shark and slot one. All right, that's very, very important. So put a big vehicle like the night shark. I definitely recommend the night shark. It's a bit better, uh, but I use the insurgent, but just have that in slot one. Okay, now once you've done that, you also need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage and any car inside the MOC, doesn't matter. And uh, you just need another car in the facility for later on and you'll see why. All right, so now at this point, you need uh, this is for the duper. Now, what the duper needs is you want to empty your slot one in your facility, and uh, you obviously need a Benny's vehicle to duplicate inside your facility, not in slot one, and you need the MOC to save the car. Now, you see that Sanchez right there? That's actually my friend, the duper. All right, you want the duper to go ahead and pull out, you know, a Fagio, a Sanchez, an RHA, whatever from another garage, okay. That's what you want them to do and just leave it outside and then have them go into their facility. Now, we're still the helper. This is all the helper. I was just going over the requirements. So my friend is ready to go. He's in his facility. He has a vehicle out that he's going to be duping over. He's going to be getting the plates from that Sanchez, okay? Or the Fagio or RHA, whatever you got out there. So he's in his facility. He has his bike out there ready to go. And, uh, you know, he's good to go. All right, so now, as the helper, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I just pull out any vehicle from my facility, doesn't matter what it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my MOC. Now, once you get your MOC, this is how you're gonna be getting glitched out. It's actually really simple. It's not difficult whatsoever, but I wanna show you what not to do first, all right? Now, I experimented with actually trying to hit the glitch a little bit, you know, far from my facility. I know it's like literally, you know, right down the hill, but this is actually too far, but I'm just gonna go over the steps right here, and then the very next one is me hitting it. So, right here, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go behind my MOC and get the right D-pad option. I'm gonna tell my friend, the duper, who's in his facility right now, ready to go to send me a facility invite, okay? So it just came in now. I'm gonna open up my phone, hover over it, and then I'm gonna accept it, spam right D-pad, and then spam A or X, all right, through that alert for the MOC. So that's what I'm doing right here. So I accepted the invite, I spammed right D-pad, but look, I didn't get an alert or anything like that. I think I wasn't actually able to get the MOC stuff working, and it's because the MOC was a little bit too far. So I'm actually just gonna normally load into his facility, which is what you don't want, all right? They didn't merge this way. So I highly recommend you actually bring your MOC right up to the facility, like as close as possible, you know, and still getting the blue circle. So as you can see right here, and you don't need the animation, because I know I definitely don't get the animation right here. So I'm bringing my MOC really close. Like I said, my friend the duper is still in his facility. He's ready to go. All he's doing is sending me an invite. Now, I have a car from my facility and I'm gonna go ahead and you know drive it over to the MOC. So here we go. And this is the one that will work. So whatever facility you have, you wanna make sure you're parking your MOC like literally maybe 40, 50 feet away from it, maybe less than that, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and tell my friend, you can send me an invite to your facility. I'm gonna make sure I have the right D-pad option behind the MOC. Remember, I have a car in there. It doesn't matter what it is, but I have a car in there, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I got the invite, so I'm gonna hover over accepting it. I'm gonna accept it, spam right D-pad, and spam A or X through that uh, alert, okay? You see that? Boom, all right, that's what you wanna see. Now, if you've gotten that, you should have a weird screwed up screen like that and spawn in your friend's facility. You have actually successfully merged facilities just like that. It's mad easy to do. So 
why did my friend need an empty spot in, in slot one? It's because of right there, my insurgent actually showed up in his facility. Okay, this insurgent was in my facility. Now it's merged into his and mine. So I can go ahead and hop into this and I can actually drive this inside of our facilities. Now what my friend's gonna do is hop into his retro right there that he's gonna be duplicating. Remember, Benny's vehicles, you don't need a custom plate for this glitch. And what I'm gonna proceed to do is just go ahead and push him, all right? Just go ahead and push your friend down over by the yellow circle. That is, you know, the aim that you're gonna be trying to get to. Like normally when we were doing this before, it was the person duping that was able to drive in the facility, but now it's different, all right? It's the friend that needs to drive in the facility. So when you're in the, you know, when you're in your retro, if you're the dupe, and you're in your retro you can actually steer so have your friend go ahead and push you and you can kind of steer uh, while he's pushing you so I was actually using two controllers to do this so don't mind you know the terrible driving right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and start fast forwarding this for you guys so it doesn't take way way too long but yeah you see that yellow circle you basically want to go ahead and park him next to there and block off the driver's side door so this is right here where I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward uh, doing this part and we're almost in position so i got him right there the door is there and look with the insurgent i'm going to go ahead and wedge the passenger side door now he should be able to press wire triangle and teleport in and out of the vehicle okay you're going to see right here the lights flashing see the lights flashing right there that means he's teleporting in and out so once he's out of the vehicle he's going to go ahead and press a and y at the same time or x and triangle at the same time on playstation and you should see the car do that, all right? If you see it go like into passive and then disappear, then that means that he hit the glitch. He actually spawned outside now with a brand new plate. It overwrote that, that vehicle, that Sanchez that he had out there, and he got a brand new plate on it. All he has to do now is go ahead and drive that into his MOC and, you know, in and out and save it. That's literally it. So that's how you duplicate a car, guys. It's nothing crazy whatsoever. I know I said a lot of requirements before, but that was just to make sure you guys are ready to do the glitch, but it's super easy, all right? Really easy and not not too, uh, like it's, it's quick, all right? It's not like crazy, crazy quick, but it's quick enough. Okay, so, and I'm gonna show you, you can duplicate multiple cars, all right, while your friend's glitched out in there. It's not just one by one. You don't have to do this part every single time. But now I'm the duper, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get a vehicle out. I have this blazer I'm gonna ride over. As you saw, my friend is over there with a vehicle from their you know, facility and their MOC, and they're gonna be the ones getting glitched out. So I went into my facility. Remember, I have my slot one open because I want their insurgent or night shark or whatever to spawn in my facility, okay? And I have my vehicles here that I wanna dupe. All right, here are my Benny's vehicles. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my friend an invite. So to the facility, remember, have him shoot you an invite, or you know, the, the duper needs to shoot the friend an invite to the facility. Now my friend is getting glitched out right now behind the MOC. Remember, accepting the invite, spamming the right D-pad and then spamming A. And look, you see that? Their insurgent spawned right inside of our facility and they are inside of our facility now. They're merged together. For some reason, my retro in slot two disappeared when the merge happened. Don't worry, it came back later, but it disappeared on this one. Not sure why, but luckily I had one in slot three, so I can go ahead and continue the glitch in slot three right here, uh, or with the car in slot three. But yeah, so my friend right now is gonna go ahead and get inside. You don't see them, they're actually invisible. You're both invisible to each other. So my friend is gonna go ahead and get into their insurgent or night shark, the big vehicle, and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the retro that I wanna dupe. As you can see, it has a custom plate on it. You don't need that. You're going to get a fresh plate and they're just going to proceed to do the same thing, you know, that you saw before. My friend is pushing me. Remember, I'm the duper this time. So your friend, like I said, does kind of, you know, all the legwork. So now I, they, I, both of my doors are wedged. I can go ahead and press Y or triangle to teleport in and out. And remember, I'm going to press A and Y at the same time or X and triangle at the same time. And that's going to get the effect that we want. Boom. You see that? You're going to see yourself spawn in the car and then start exiting right, right after that. That means I successfully hit it. I'm going to spawn outside. Remember, I had a real easy plate on there. Look what's on there now. You see that? It's a fresh plate. That was that blazer that I left outside. So whenever you want to get a new dupe, you have to have a vehicle outside to overwrite before you do that part, okay? So now I just had to drive it over to my MOC, in and out and save it. Now, this is what you're gonna confront once you save that other vehicle. If you try to walk into your facility again and try to do this shit, you know, this uh, the dupe glitch again, look what's gonna happen. You're both in like a weird passive, or actually it's you, you're glitched out in like a passive state. So a lot of people probably didn't think you can duplicate multiple cars with this because of, you know, what's happening right here. But before you go inside, remember, 
what you want to do is call out a blazer or anything like that to overwrite. You see, I have one right there. All I did was start up a job and back out. Okay, that's all I did. So this is the setup while your friend is still glitched inside of the merge facilities. Just do that, start up a job in and out, and you see that? Now my friend can go ahead and push me. That's all it takes, guys. So to rinse and repeat after you save your first retro in the MOC, all you got to do is call out another car to duplicate or another vehicle to duplicate over like the Blazer, the Faggio, a Sanchez, whatever. Start up a job, back out, go back into your facility and your friend is going to be pushing another car. That's all it is, guys. Super, super simple to do this. You can do multiple cars. And as you saw right there, I did the little teleport trick and I'm going to be spawning outside with my merged, you know, LG Retro Custom. And here we go. I'm gonna turn around the camera and boom. There it is, guys. So this glitch is really, really cool. There's a lot more to come from it. You're definitely gonna see more videos uh, about this glitch. But for now, this is just the money glitch or one of the money glitches that has come with it. And uh, yeah, so I'm just saving it in my MOC right here. Uh, just recommend going in and out and you're good to go. It doesn't matter what you, what you have in there. It's just gonna transfer from wherever that bike uh, that you overwrote was okay i recommend using bikes because you can just spawn them with your motorcycle club so just have a bunch of fagios in a 10 car garage and those would be the ones that you overwrite you know the ones you leave outside of the facility okay and that's it vehicle save perfect so that's gonna be it for me guys my name is roll easy hope you enjoyed the video and learned something if you did make sure to slap that like button uh like all the rest of my videos as well if you're brand new hit that big red button to subscribe and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope gta5 online content road to 25,000 subscribers peace out